Hatching the new retired eggs in Adopt Me's update early. The basic egg update comes out in one day, but players have been able to go and get the retired egg before. If you don't know what the retired egg is, there's a little bit of information here. Apparently it's available in the VIP room at this Thursday, the same time as when all of these 14 lovely amazing pets come out into the game. I am inside of Adopt Me's Test Lab, a variation of the official Adopt Me game where players are allowed to go and test things out. Inside the VIP room, it seems to have absolutely no changes. I'm really hoping that Adopt Me has gone and revamped the actual VIP room for the release of this update, because if not, I believe you will just be able to go and purchase it from this section here on a pedestal. As for the retired egg's rarity, it's not going to be a legendary. Its rarity will be a rare, which does mean you will be able to go and hatch this thing probably faster. If the egg's rarity is only a rare, then we're expecting this egg to go and cost pretty much the same price as the pet egg, so I assume that it will cost you 600 bucks, but of course you will also need the VIP to go and get into this area. However, there is a loophole, you could just simply create a family with some random player who you realise has VIP, and then go and teleport to them once they're inside of this location, and there's absolutely nothing stopping you from doing so. Also, if someone's on your friends list, they can simply teleport to you by going and doing this technique. It's pretty easy, and I'd recommend going and doing it. I imagine the Dot Me might find a way to stop this from happening though. In all honesty, I imagine they will be upgrading the VIP system sometime soon. They've been updating every single other aspect of Adopt Me, and the VIP room hasn't really seen much updates recently. But anyway, let's go and check out the retired egg, how players manage to go and get one, and what do people actually hatch from this thing. This is my friend's video, they went and showed off the fact that they have the retired egg. So some players were lucky enough in the test lab to go and receive this, this is genuine, this is real footage. It's rarity is rare, it looks so funny as an icon, like it's kind of invisible, very strange looking, let's see how this goes. So for anyone wondering what do you actually hatch out of the retired egg, well you're basically going to be going and hatching whatever's currently in the egg rotation pool. You're not going to go and hatch something crazy such as the brand new legendary dragons. And speaking of the legendary, there are three legendaries in this egg, which is absolutely insane that they decided to do three. Uh, first time for everything. Anyway, as we can see, we're going to go and get this ta first task complete. And it looks like it did, like, what? What's that? One, one out of seven or something by the looks of things. We're gonna count um, as we go through how many tasks this thing has done. It looks like a lot of tasks for a rare egg. It kind of looks like the amount of tasks you'd need to go and do to hatch a legendary. So that is definitely interesting. We're now on the second task. And yeah, it's not quite halfway, so maybe we only need five tasks to go and complete this. We're gonna find out. He's gone and taken the retired egg to the play park, okay. This is pretty exciting. I'm surprised that this actually came out into the test lab, not going to lie. Okay, so that is the third task just over halfway, meaning I think we'll only need five tasks to go and hatch this egg which is actually not terrible. If you're a new player, it shouldn't take you a significant amount of time. This is currently the fourth task where they're gonna go and heal the pets. Then we only need one more task after this and we're actually gonna go and hatch this retired egg. So the idea behind the retired egg is that once the new pets come out, players who aren't, who didn't manage to go and finish their collection of like the dragons, the unicorns, the Shibas, the, the, all of that stuff, they'll actually be able to go and get it available via the retired egg. So the retired egg hatches aren't going to go and give you the new pets. The retired egg is just like all of the old pets placed into this egg, if that all makes sense. To go and hatch the new pets, you're going to have to go and hatch like the actual pet eggs, which is interesting. So this is the last guy's task. Not really sure where he is going. All right, he's hungry. All right, we're about to go and watch this thing. Eat a, a sandwich. Very fitting for this guy's avatar. Okay, what is gonna happen? What is he gonna hatch out of it? Place your predictions. Retired egg is full. We hatched an otter. 
Okay, so not terrible, not amazing. There's actually people saying, um, say ABC if you have, um, VIP. So I'm just gonna invite everyone into VIP and test this theory out to see if they can all want to teleport to me. So I've invited them all to the family. I've walked into here. I have VIP. Now I'm pretty sure everyone can teleport to me and they'll be in the VIP room. We're gonna find out. So yeah, people just joined my family, they teleported to me, and now you can go and literally get into the VIP room without spending the Robux. I mean, some players might not agree with that, it's kind of a loophole, so in case anyone does want to get that um, egg, you can always go and do that to go and uh, get into there, which is somewhat interesting. So if the rarity is rare, are the odds going to be this, I imagine? Um, so there is going to be a 3% chance of a legendary if it costs the same price. I imagine that this is what the odds are when hatching a retired egg in the update. So there are multiple players who've been able to go and receive the retired egg in the game. Unfortunately, I was not lucky enough to go and witness this or get one. This player was actually extremely unfortunate because they were hatching this thing. And uh, I kid you not, there was an update in the middle of them trying to hatch this just watch watch how sad this is the server is closing for an update and i'm pretty sure it took the retired egg away from them which is quite sad but anyway this update is coming out extremely soon it literally comes out tomorrow 4 p.m uk time let us know if you're excited about the retired egg Personally, I'm excited about the new pets, but many players are kind of intrigued about the idea of a retired egg coming into the game. Let us know your thoughts down below in the comment section. What of all of these pets are you most forward to going and hatching? If you want more information about the updates, be sure to subscribe to this YouTube channel with notifications. I've made a video about all of the rarities of these pets, what they look like, how to get them, and everything you need to do to prepare. So be sure to go and check out all of those videos before the update comes into the game. Thanks for watching. There's 12 days left to go and pre-order the Neon Cookie Tiger plush, a plush that actually glows in the dark. You need to sell 200 for this thing to be made, so be sure to pre-order it today, the links are in the description. Shout out to my recent supporters who've gone and purchased the toy. If you want to go and join me in game when the update comes out, simply follow my Roblox profile. My username is at cookiecutterYT. I'm trying to get to 100,000 followers, so Roblox will send me an award. So be sure to click these three dots and press follow. That means you'll be able to go and join me whenever I'm in the game. Plus, if you'd like to go and follow me on social media for more information behind the scenes and be featured in some exclusive giveaways, be sure to go and follow me on Instagram at MattyAJP. Again, the links are down below in the description.